If you guys watched the last video on the kangaroo grind, you will probably remember that we screwed up one of our best zones and completely deleted every single group of kangaroos that was there. Due to a vital error where we ended up getting out of our blind by accident, I was trying to jump on the edge of it, but I jumped a little bit too far and we no longer had that hunting pressure reduction, so we ended up losing our zone. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go around and delete as many kangaroo zones as I can find in the rivers and try to get our zones to come back where we want them to. So we're just going to go ahead and go absolutely buck wild on these guys and, and just try to get as many hits in as we can. Hopefully we can end up deleting these zones completely and hopefully they'll go to that lake that we really, really like hunting. There we go. That is a fourth one dead. How far is it, though? Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit too far away. I don't think that's going to contribute to deleting this zone, unfortunately. But uh, it is what it is. And I think what we're going to have to do is once we have killed some in a zone, we're going to have to main menu and then go back to finish the job. Otherwise, hunting pressure is just going to deplete over time and we'll never end up deleting it. All right. This will be the final one that we need to shoot for this zone right here. Gosh, I don't even know if we have an angle on this guy. Uh, it should be good enough. Okay, that'll be good. That's good enough right there. He's going down, which means that this zone is going down as well. Here is another zone that we would like to delete. This one is not really anything too crazy. There's a lot of mediocre males in here and just a few female kangaroos as well let's see if we can get one more we just need one more man just one more i think that might have been the same one i mean we hit it i think it might be too far away though maybe that might get it that actually might get this zone we might be good and that should be the final kill that we needed to delete this zone right here. Let's just hope that one of these zones that we have deleted so far will end up going to that lake where we deleted a couple of our favorite zones. Because that would be quite unfortunate if we just completely lost out on such an amazing lake. Well, so far it's looking like that did not work given it just happened. We just deleted a couple of these zones so they, they could pop up at any time. Maybe we need to delete this zone right here. Or maybe we need to find where these groups of kangaroo have gone and then try to delete their zones. Because as of now, there's nothing back. But that's not to say that they couldn't pop up a couple runs later once we clear all the hunting pressure. Oh, oh, oh. That is a legendary level 9 kangaroo. That is a terrible estimate. But... It still could make it. It still could make it. And I think this is going to be a zone that we probably make our primary grinding zone. I came over here in hopes that I could find a zone for us to actually use because we deleted these and they did not come back. So I think this is going to be our new zone right here. Problem is, I don't have my gun on me because I was planning on just like setting up for this zone right here. So yeah, we're going to have to take this guy out after we place our tent down and stuff like that there we go there is our level nine right there which means it's finally time to take it down now that we have our tent and blind down we can actually get a solid shot on this guy we just gotta wait for him to lift up and that should be vitals right there down he goes level nine on the ground well there it is there's our level nine kangaroo will it make it probably not with that estimate and oh my gosh it actually made it no way! It made it by 1.35 points. That's actually crazy. I thought for sure with that estimate of like, what, 495? That there was no chance of this guy making it. But he actually made it. That's insane. The two that we killed in the last uh, video hunting kangaroos both had a really high estimate compared to this. And neither of them made diamond. Yet this guy right here ends up making it. That's absolutely crazy. What a trophy, man. What an awesome trophy to get. You don't see too many diamond kangaroos because of the fact that they troll so often. So this is really nice to get. 
So there's a level seven. I went ahead and fast traveled over to this tent right here. And of course, because it's on top of a zone, they ended up running. So we're just going to blast this level seven as much as we can. Honestly, let's just pull out the 300 and never mind. We don't need to. He died. We're good. There it is. That is a gray level seven, 349. Let's move on to the next zone and see if we can find anything good there. Looks like in this zone, we got ourselves a seven, a seven and a six. So that should be pretty easy to uh, get them down as they're quite close to each other. And that's going to be two of them. I am using the 300 in this video right here. That way we can hopefully get them to go down much faster. But, uh, you know, they're still going to take a little bit if we can't get a good shot, which tends to happen quite often in a Scarecrow video. So, you know, it is what it is. Can't win them all. So there's our level 7, 385.46. I think we should have one or two more in this, like, close area. I have no clue where the other one went. I must have hit it pretty poorly because I could not figure out where it was. But we did get this level 8 right here, so... That's another nice kangaroo down. There is a level six kangaroo. Just going to drop a shot into him real quick. Aggressive. Oh, gosh, we got an aggressive kangaroo. Though I don't think it's going to matter too much because it's quite far away. There it is. Level six gray brown 329 on the score. Man, I really hope we get a rare kangaroo soon because that is my primary goal with this grind right here is just getting some rares. All right, so before these guys run, let's go ahead and kill this level six right here. You know, I've been thinking about making my claiming tent at this area because whenever I end a run at a specific lake, it's obviously going to spawn me in at the nearest tent. And uh, these zones with the kangaroos tend to like immediately have kangaroos in them upon entering the game. So like every time that I start a new run, they're always right here. So I'm thinking about putting the claiming tent at my last zone that I visit. That way, I'll spawn at that claiming tent instead. So that I won't have to worry about, like, spooking these off if I were to fast travel. Okay, so we got a couple of mythicals in that same zone that we got that level 9 out of. I think it's about time that we take those down real quickly. Oh, he moved! No! No! Okay, we got vitals. I think that had to be vitals. I think we're good. I think we're good. The 420, once again. Why do so many of these level 8 kangaroos score 420? I feel like that's the third 420 kangaroo that I've killed in the last two episodes, which is kind of wild. I, I feel like they score 420 quite often. Okay, so I actually don't remember what we were doing when I stopped recording the last segment of this video. It's been about two days since I recorded the first part of this video, so I have no idea like where we were at, what we were doing. Aside from, I think we had just harvested a level 9 kangaroo, and I believe it made diamond. Other than that, I really don't remember much about what I was doing, so we're just going to wing it. We're just going to keep hunting these kangaroos. Hopefully, we can get something good. You know, this is another one of those situations where this is likely not a rare, but just in case it is, we're going to go ahead and shoot it with the correct rifle. Because it does have a chance. It's a little bit lighter than the others, but knowing my luck, it's probably just another gray. And of course, as I thought, it's just a brown fur type. That tends to always be how it ends up going. But, you know, it is what it is. One of these days will think it's a rare and it will actually be a rare. I guess today is just not the day for that. With this next kill, we will be at 100 kills on the grind, which is uh, definitely a lot of kills. We have managed to get quite a few of them in the couple episodes that we have been hunting these kangaroos and it's definitely progressing nicely. We've only got one diamond, but we also have the two trolls. Zero rares as of now, but hopefully those rares will show up soon. Just drop a shot into that guy and to that one right there. And if we can, we're going to try and get the mythical as well. That looks very light, but it's probably just a gray as they typically are. So we're just going to blast it with the 300. And one into that mythical as well. There we go. Kill number 100 has been claimed. That is a gray level 7 Eastern Gray Kangaroo. And we've also got a few more down, a gray-brown level 7. And, of course, the ones that we ended up making a terrible shot on. 
Ooh, man, that mythical did not get hit good at all. And last but not least, that very light colored level six, which is indeed just a gray as I assumed. Man, these grays really look light when you're looking through the night vision and it has tricked me quite a few times on this grind already. Really hoping that one of these days it'll actually be a rare when we see a lighter colored kangaroo, but so far it just has not happened. So I think I'm going to move one of our tents because I really like this zone right here and we always have at least two male kangaroos here. So I'm going to move the tent that we have as a claiming tent at this zone because it's just not as good. I usually can't kill more than one in this area anyway and I'd rather dedicate it to a zone that has more males. So we're going to move that tent over here I think and hopefully that'll speed things up a little bit make it just a little bit more efficient. Take down that mythical and now hopefully that guy will lift his head there he goes but i missed the shot and we got it on the second one all right mr kangaroo you, you want to fight me while i'm trying to take these tents down that is not cool bro that is not cool man we're just trying to work here we're trying to take down the tents set them up somewhere else and you just had to pop up like that and try to fight us i see how it is well, I think it's time that we try to find a spot in our lodge to put this kangaroo, though I really don't even know where to start looking because there's a lot of stuff that I probably will never take down in here. And it's going to take a bit to figure out exactly where we want to put this kangaroo or if there's even a space left to put this kangaroo. Now, I suppose we could remove one of these piebald roe deer, probably this one, and then pop our kangaroo there instead. But at the same time, I kind of like a piebald roe deer better than I like a kangaroo. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just put it right here because we have plenty of piebald fallow deer in my other lodge. So let's just go ahead and put that kangaroo right there. And man, they, they have some really cool poses. I really like the kangaroo poses. We're going to go ahead and call it there as I really don't know how long this video is going to end up being. I mean, I recorded it on two separate days, so I don't remember how much of the first day of recording is actually going to go in this video. So for all I know, this could be a five minute video or it could end up being a 25 minute video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider doing so, as well as leaving a like and a comment down below because it does help out more than you could imagine. Thank you all so much for being here. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.